Alright, hello. Welcome to what I got going. This is the 500 hands challenge. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that number. It was really arbitrary, but... Um, so we were talking about um, my Discord and someone said we should have a challenge and here we are. Day four. Um, basically it's 500, 500 hands in one week or seven days, whichever day you start. Whatever reference, no rules, there's no jury. It's uh, your own kind of rules. Um, and I'm on number 223. Uh, I'm, I'm jumping between uh, Photoshop and Procreate on, on the iPad. So I'm gonna just keep going and record it. Figured might as well record it and talk. So basically what I do is just make a hand pose and kind of loosely sketch it out. <laughs> it's gonna... Uh, okay, here's fine. Anyway, so, uh, um, it's like, what's the reason for doing something like this? Well, at first it was just kind of like, a, hey, want to get good? Just, just do it. Don't ask questions. Doesn't matter what you use. Doesn't matter what, what brushes or pen or crayon. You, if you do 500 of anything, you're going to learn something. Um, so, uh. What I learned is like, don't make the mistake of making such a huge number in a small time, amount of time. But hey, it wouldn't be a challenge if it wasn't if it was easy. So, it's going to be about uh, at least for me about three hours of drawing a day of hands, which is pretty average for like a um, like an art student, you know, focusing on something. And it doesn't all have to be at once. It could be half of them in uh, the morning. The other half later at night. Um, but also, uh, it's kind of hard to draw and talk at the same time. But some things I learned is like there's there's different, I guess, mental mindsets that you have when you're drawing. Uh, like right now, this is the first one, so it's a bit of a warm up. And so different things in your mind start to uh, synchronize. Like when you're warming up, you start to. Uh, learn to see and learn to measure and see um, uh, shape relationships between things. So, I don't know. That'll be the first hand. And then it's like if you limit yourself to, uh, I don't know, like one minute for a hand, it's like, what do you, what do you draw? Like, what are the necessary elements to actually put down um, is it silhouette? Is it just like one gesture line of the thumb like that? Uh, something like this. We'll, we'll keep this one a short one. Um, so that it's technically still a hand. Um, you're learning different things from it. It's more of a gesture. And yeah. And what's cool is after I did like uh, two or three days of this, when I went to draw hands from memory, or, or like in a painting, it just happens so much more fluidly and I didn't have to use reference. Um, of course, I, if I did use reference, it would have looked better, but um, yeah, that's kind of a quicker one, but they're all valid, all right? So um, this is a challenge for anyone who wants to give it a shot. You could certainly lower the number for yourself, um, maybe like instead of 500, maybe I don't know, one week, drawing 30 of them a day, something like that, instead of, because this this would be about 71 a day. Uh, so I'm doing about 80 a day. Uh, I will probably switch to traditional as well, somewhere in between, because I'm traveling uh, Actually, today in a few hours, I have to leave driving to somewhere else. I guess I could still use the iPad. But yeah, yeah that's good enough for me. I'll probably do a, a row or two and then call this video done. Just share it with y'all. 
not some kind of profound podcast or anything. It's just uh, what it looks like when I draw from reference. Well, from life, I guess. Oh, also, it's like I did um, a session of just like going to any random YouTube video of someone playing the guitar and the harp as well, and just pausing it and drawing the hands um, from the screen. It's like, whatever you think, like there's no right or wrong way. Um, and I also did like a, a page of monkey hands. Just their hands after all. It's cold here. <laughs> Man. So yesterday I had a, well this morning actually, I had a really bad headache. Um, well it started last night and I fell asleep to it and I still had it in the morning. And I just felt like it was a just awful sensation. And um, then I realized, well I, at first I thought it was like, well I've been having too much coffee or caffeine or something, or maybe Maybe I'm just low on nutrition, but no, I've been eating pretty well. Um, and so when I woke up, I was like, well, maybe I need uh, some fresh air. Then I realized I've been, I haven't left this place in like three days. And so I've been breathing the same air and obviously it's winter, so I'm not opening the windows. And, and the moment I stepped out, I like, Took a deep breath, the, the headache just subsided immediately. And I realized I needed to air out the place. And I mean, it's just uh, not a good idea to not have ventilation. They say to open the windows at least once a day. Did not know that. So fresh air, boys and girls, ladies and gents, everyone. Oh, someone was commenting uh, about this on Instagram, because I started this a few days ago. They're saying, well, if you're going to do 500, there's probably going to be repeats. Oh, uh, yeah, so what? Like, drawing the same thing multiple times, or uh, the same pose multiple times, only reinforces your understanding of that pose, so nothing wrong with that. Like, I've drawn this pose probably like 30 times already. Another idea is to have a mirror set up so that you can get the reflection of your hand. So I'm right-handed, so I've been drawing left hands a lot. I actually already have a video on drawing hands in my sketchbook um, somewhere on my YouTube channel. Six. All right, we'll do rows of seven so that we can just count them in 21 for, for, per page. think with this exercise you learn to see because part of learning art is training your eye and your brain to synchronize and see different things like shapes and shape relationships this is like a great way to do that uh, and it's like well what if I don't do it right what if uh, what if my hands aren't very good well that's the point my dude your first 300 are supposed to be bad. You'll start, I think you'll have visible differences and, and things that you learn uh, after a couple hundred, be like, oh, okay, well, if I compare the first 10 to uh, the final page, or just the first 10 to, I don't know, 100 later, there's gonna be differences, even if it's small, like that's, those are significant. Uh, little moments of evidence to say, look, there, there is something to actually putting mileage in um, drawing. Oh, I could draw from the camera too. 
There's that comic book hand thing where these two fingers are together. All right, so for this one, uh, auto focus is on, that's annoying. Um, usually I'll look for the easiest shape to draw. So that triangle there with the thumb, like I'll just lay that in and look, there's a line <coughs> going directly below it. And the next easy line would be the slope going down. And then I could build the rest of it off of that pretty easily and stuff. So uh, let's get that in frame. You gotta commend those uh, life drawing models who stand perfectly still because there's a uh, difficulty to this. I guess it's harder if you're drawing at the same time. But... Yeah, I never really drew fingernails, but maybe that'll be the thing I learn. Learning where to place them. No, that's not very good at all. But you know what? That's fine. <laughs> uh, I think this is misaligned. It should be further out that way. Whatever. Counts. It's beautiful. Uh, you could also have, like, different poses. Um, maybe, like, holding a book. Yeah, why not? gotta hurry these up <laughs> the first um, few pages I spent like maybe two or three minutes on them and like shading them and rendering the lighting and getting the folds right but I'm like I have like several hundred to go don't have all day which is why you know making the speed part part of it as well because you could spend I don't know more time on maybe 30 of them and then see what happens if you speed it up and Spend less time. Book. Oh, by the way, the hashtag. Actually, I'll just have that on the screen. Hashtag 500 hands. It's, it's pretty much a really absurd <laughs> challenge. Uh, but it wouldn't be a challenge if it was easy. Uh, I think the next one, I, you know, because this is not only engaging for me and I'm learning a lot, but it's really getting the community going. So that's good, too. But I think the next one may be like heads. So but not not so many, um, maybe 100 heads in 10 days or something where it's like 10 days or 10 heads per day uh, or maybe 20 heads a day. So 210 days, I'll figure it out. But um, uh, maybe like alternating, like day one is male, day two female, day three male, and like alternating between the two. Um, I got a comment the other day on one of my older videos. Um, I think it was my drawing faces one. And uh, this dude was, I guess he was older and he, he even said so, but he's like, what's the point of drawing digitally? Um, you have the undo button or the erase button or the delete button. Uh, so it doesn't count. Like no one would go to a museum to see it. Something like that, which is like, I mean, if your goal is about museum art, like, well then I, I guess, I mean, but I'm sure there's digital art museums. Um, Craig Mullins had a show before there's often um, exhibits, especially at, like gallery nucleus. Anyway, but, but what I'm trying to say is, 
because I'm obviously doing this digitally right now, if, if you were to say, well, this is digital, therefore it's easier or it doesn't count or whatever, it's like, well, then I challenge you to replicate this. <laughs> if, you're, if you're that kind of person who's like, well, it's so much easier digitally, there's nothing to learn. Okay, let's, let's see yours. Um, because I'm learning a lot and this is mileage and I have uh, more tools at my disposal to learn. Um, granted, there's a crap ton of things you learn from traditional. Like whenever people ask me, um, how do I get better at digital painting? How do I get better at lighting and color? I always say like, you could do a lot of digital paintings, but if you for real, for real want to learn color and painting, then you turn the computer off and you get some cheap acrylics or oils or expensive, doesn't matter. Um, and actually learn how to mix colors, learn how to paint, learn how to layer the brush strokes. Um, cause there's no point in trying to fake it if you don't know, like digitally, unless you know how to do it traditionally, but that's not to say that you can't learn from traditional, uh, I'm sorry, uh, digital methods. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. He even ended it with, uh, God is dead. I'm like, how does seeing people draw digitally have you say such a morbid thing? I don't know Nietzsche said that, but. Anyway, um, okay, I'll do three more and then call it a video. Also, like doing this reinforces your uh, understanding of where the little landmarks are, like where the actual segments are on these fingers. And you can start noticing patterns of how they align when they're extended, how they change when they're like this. And then when they're completely like this, they all line up all magically. It's like, what? Um, and that really comes in hand. Okay. Handy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, of course, I give up. Um, it comes in handy when you're like painting or drawing things from imagination or even from life drawing. I, I can't even, there's so many hand puns on the, in the comments and I, I probably shouldn't say that cause then it, it seems like I'm rewarding it and, and thinking you'll get more attention if, if you do it, but there are lots of hand puns. It's like, wow, didn't see that one coming. Overwatch is dead. <laughs> Thought I should say. <laughs> oh my god. I was... I, I took a break from it um, for a while. And I realized, like, even in competitive or whatever, even when I win, or when the team wins, or I do well, or um, it's, it doesn't even feel good. It's just fe there's so much like anxiety and toxicity, and it's like why do I do this? And even even though we won, it's like I still hate all of you. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh my god. Um, actually, I, I, the only thing I do enjoy still with Overwatch is uh, Widows. Headshots only. That's pretty fun. I used to be pretty bad, uh, but now I'm like, not too bad. I uh, end up either like, I've only been like first a few times because I'll be in there. I know this is like video game talk, but um, like I'll be in there and like, the title of the of the lobby will even be like Bad Widows Only. It's like, okay, well maybe I can, uh, not get destroyed and of course there's like a top 500 or grandmaster a couple of those just in there dominating everyone and their movement is insane it's like how are you doing that like i hit your head 17,000 times and you're still alive and you keep crouching at the right second and ugh, anyway but even when they're there i usually end up like third or fourth so that's not that's enjoyable but when it comes to actually playing overwatch 
like uh, competitive. I don't know, man. Unless you're, unless you're good enough uh, or willing to carry, and I don't think I'm good enough to carry, uh, then it's not really enjoyable or fun. I, even I can't imagine it's even fun for that. Uh, I think it used to be fun, but they added Brig, and that's. I mean, there's, there's enough videos on that. I don't need to say anything. I'm assuming you, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Assuming that people play Overwatch or used to, but we're all artists here. I'm sure, half of you are like, what? What's what's a video game? Why? Why is he talking about this? I came here for brushes. Anyway, so that's uh, that's twenty, not twenty-one. Fourteen hands for now. I'll probably wrap that up and do the final row when I turn off the camera less pressure but yeah um, glad to be making content again I just uh, getting things in order a lot of good stuff happening there may or may not be an art book in the works just saying all right uh, hope you enjoyed that hope you join the challenge even if it's at your own pace there's no judges there's no jury it's just you putting mileage in towards a direction um, all right uh, see you next time